Mutual exclusion, disabling interrupts. Consider an ATM machine in a town. The special feature about this ATM machine is that whenever a customer enters it, he or she has to switch on the light to indicate someone is inside performing a transaction. Once the transaction is complete, the customer leaves the ATM and he or she has to switch off the light indicating that the ATM machine is free for use by another customer. Now let us say, a customer enters the ATM, switched on the light and perform the transaction. In the meanwhile, another customer comes and sees the light on realize that someone is inside the ATM. He waits for his turn. Now as the transaction is quite long, the waiting customer realize he is thirsty and goes to a nearby shop to buy a bottle of water. As the waiting customer was buying the water, the customer inside the ATM has finished his transaction and leaves the ATM forgetting at the same time to switch off the light. Now the waiting customer not seeing the first customer leaving the ATM continues to wait outside the ATM as the light is still on. The waiting customer will keep on waiting forever until the light goes off at the ATM machine thereby losing his chance to use the service of the ATM machine. This analogy highlight on how the use of disabling interrupts to achieve mutual exclusion fails as it broke rule number 4 that is no process must wait forever to enter its critical region.